Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Rapid Championship. It's a game from round 8, Magnus Carlsen versus Czech Grandmaster uh, Viktor Lasnička. Uh, I was going to show a game between the leaders, uh, Shakhtar Mamedyarov and Van Hao, uh, but uh, the two of them agreed to a draw like uh, uh, very early on in the opening phase of the game. Like in, in, They played 10, 10 moves and uh, agreed to a draw. So not, not, no point in showing that. So uh, we have... Uh, uh, this game, uh, Carlsen versus Lasnička. So without further ado, let's check it out. And the Carlsen again goes for his London system. Sorry about that. Uh, like he did against Van Hao, although against uh, Hao he uh, he really struggled for that draw. Uh, but okay, d5, knight to f3, knight to f6, uh, bishop to f4, and bishop to f5. The so-called double London. Uh, we have e3, e6, and now knight b to d2. Uh, we have bishop to e7 by Lasnička, bishop to d6 is uh, is pretty much played all the time uh, nowadays, but bishop to e7, uh, a rarer move now. And okay, Carlsen goes for knight to e5, and here uh, some moves have been played by black in this position, but h h5 has never been played here, and it is as of move 6 that we have a completely new game. So Carlsen continues developing, bishop d3, we have bishop captures, knight captures, and now knight b to d7. Uh, we have queen to e2 and now knight to e4, getting that knight to, to a very nice square. Uh, we have h3 and now knight captures on d2. We have queen captures and now bishop to d6, offering a trade of bishops as well, uh, which will double up his uh, d-pawn, but uh, it, will, it will improve his uh, presence in the center. So bishop captures, c captures. Now, if you want, you can, you can push e5 pretty much right away. Uh, Magnus castles queen side and now h4, uh, preventing uh, any any uh, pushing of the pawns on the king side. Uh, we have king to b1, uh, just a nice prophylactic move, uh, and knight to f6 now, getting the knight to a, to a more uh, uh, natural square. We have f3 by Magnus, taking away uh, e4 and g4 from uh, from the dark knight, and now queen to b6, developing the queen. Um, still deciding where, where the king is going to go, whether kingside, queenside, or, or maybe even stay in the center, although very unlikely. Uh, we have rook h to e1 by Magnus, now the development is complete, and uh, Lasnička castles queenside, uh, 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 the same as Magnus. We have c3 by Magnus, strengthening the center, uh, and now king to b8, also a very nice prophylactic move, and now e4. Uh, so uh, here, queen back to c7, uh, and now queen to g5 by Magnus, putting pressure on the g7 pawn, uh, the h4 pawn, so you cannot defend with this rook, since this rook, this rook is stuck guarding the h4 pawn, you cannot push g6 because the knight hangs, so this rook has to uh, help out with the defense. And now rook to c1 by Magnus, preparing to push c4, and perhaps open up the c file, uh, as now this rook left... Uh, uh, left the queen side. Uh, and here we have rook to h5. And already uh, here there's a bit of a difference in time. Uh, Carlsen has 12 minutes on the clock, whereas uh, Lasnička has uh, some 6 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, we have queen back to e3 by Magnus, and now you have to decide. Here you have to decide whether you, whether you want to capture and then decide what to do. For example, d captures on e4, knight to f4, just to push the rook back, a nice vision suk, and after rook h8, uh, just captures on e4. And now black has a couple of options that he, he can choose from, d5, e5, g5, uh, you can go rook to e8, uh, a lot of uh, interesting ideas. Uh, but instead of this, after queen to e3, uh, we have e5 right away, uh, which allows uh, Magnus this uh, very intriguing idea of d captures on e5, d captures, and now c4. And uh, again, you have to make a choice. Uh, so here, uh, you know, your, your your instincts tell you to push the d4 pawn. All this, all this, although this is something you don't want to do, you want to either capture here and after f captures on e4, just continue the game. Or if you capture here, you're gonna get b3. Now the pawn is pinned. You cannot uh, capture anything. And after let's say queen b6, not allowing uh, the capture here, you we will see a queen trade and uh, let's say rook captures on c4, where the game continues with equal material, uh, although black's uh, pawn structure is somewhat compromised. Uh, but d4 uh, is not the, the best course of action for black, as now uh, Magnus gets this very strong uh, c pawn. He doesn't push it, I accidentally did that. Uh, he first, of course, has, has to move the queen, queen e2, and now knight to d7. Uh, and uh, c5, of course, not allowing a knight to c5. So c5, 
uh, and rook to h6 now, preparing to help out with the defense. Uh, so Magnus pushes b4. He wants to now push everything, get the king um, perhaps to, to help out with the defense, push a4, b5, and so on. We have queen to c6, now uh, controlling this diagonal, but Magnus now helps out with the queen. Queen b2, now b5 is coming, so queen to b5 blocking it, and now queen to b3, uh, hoping f to get a4 in. Uh, we have rook to a6, keeping an eye on uh, a4, but now just knight to b2. And here, uh, there is no good way to prevent a4, uh, so rook back to f6 as the f7 pawn is also under attack, uh, but uh, Magnus not, not interested in that pawn, he continues his play on the queen side, we have uh, pawn to a4, and now queen to c6, uh, we have b5 pushing the queen back, and queen to e6 now offering a queen trade, and while you can go queen to d5 here, you don't want to allow this trade captures and to allow this pawn to, to join his friends, uh, so uh, th this would be playable, but Carlsen prefers the queens on the board as Lasnichka is uh, very low on time. So rook back to c8, uh, but still just c6. Uh, we have knight to b6 now, uh, getting getting out of the way, but now uh, a5, pushing the knight all the way into the corner. We have knight to a8, and now c captures on b7. The threat is. Uh, well, just uh, capturing material here, bringing a queen into the game, so king captures on b7, and rook captures on c8. We have queen captures on c8, and rook to c1. Uh, you are uh, unable to, to stop this rook's influence on the c file, since rook to c6 is not possible to do due to the pawn. Queen back to d8, and now knight to d3. The knight is now coming to c5, uh, where it will be an extremely strong knight. Uh, we have knight to c7, uh, Lasnichka tries to activate his knight, but now knight to c5 with check. King to a8, and now continuing the attack with b6. Uh, here, Magnus is not afraid of opening up the b file, even though, uh, you know, it does look scary. If this rook ever reaches b6 with your queen and king here, it could be, could be very dangerous. Uh, but we have a captures on b6, a captures on b6, and now knight to a6. Point is, if you go knight to e8, it's just over. For example, check, you move, uh, check, uh, you move, and now uh, queen to b7 is mate. Uh, so here, knight to a6, and here, uh, Lasnichka had the idea of if, if knight captures here, then just a rook captures on b6, winning the queen. However, you don't really win the queen, because you have rook to c8 check, uh, and then it's either a queen trade or you just grab the rook. Queen captures, now the rook is no longer guarded and now you're just up a knight uh, in, in a winning position. Uh, but Magnus uh, says, okay, I'm gonna not calculate uh, that out. I'm just gonna go b7 check and capture the knight next uh, because then my knight will be on a6 uh, guarding the queening square. So king to a7 and now uh, knight captures on a6. And here we reach the incredible moment from the title uh, of the video. Uh, feel free to pause the video and try to find the best move for black uh, while I give you uh, a couple of seconds. Uh, so for those of you who were able to do it, uh, congratulations on uh, you know taking the hint. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's rook to b6. Rook to b6 is different now than uh, the, the previous rook to b6. Lasnichka played rook captures on a6. But rook to b6 here is, uh, well, it's... It's the best ch chance black has, and I do believe it's a draw, uh, but it's uh, not possible to calculate in a rapid game, especially not when you have so little time on the clock. The point is that now it's not the same, for example, uh, okay, the queen is under attack, and if you go b8 queen, uh, you get uh, queen captures on b8, and now knight captures on b8. Rook captures on b4 with check, king to a2, and now just uh, king captures here, and you go into this endgame where black is up a pawn. So that's, uh, and all, all Already you have a pass deep on uh, on d4, uh, so not something you you want to do. So after rook to b6, uh, rook to c8, the same idea as before. Only now it's a bit different. It doesn't come with check. So here we have king captures on a6, and now uh, pawn goes to b8, and you promote it to a knight with check. So point is king b7 now, uh, rook uh, uh, rook captures on d8. You grab the queen, but now rook captures on b4 with check. King to c2, and now uh, white is up a piece, but the problem is next. For example, rook c4 check, you go king d3, rook 3, uh, 3c check, uh, you go back, king to d2, and now rook to a3. And there's no good way to... 
uh, to get your knight into the game. You are up a piece, but uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you, you cannot develop it. All of the squares are covered. You can go knight d7, but then just king c7 forces the rook back and you win the knight. So really incredible stuff. Uh, I, I thought it was an incredible moment that such an opportunity presented itself in a game. Uh, but, uh, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's still hard to say wh whether you would ever be able to, to to get the knight into the game, but I don't think so. I mean, I mean, if you get this rook to a8, uh, there's there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so it was uh, really really exciting stuff. Uh, but yeah, after this uh, king to a7, uh, knight captures on a6. Uh, Lasnichka uh, trusted Carlson and didn't even probably maybe maybe he checked this, but he thought that rook to c8 was just the same. Uh, so he captured the knight, but here Magnus just played rook to c8, and uh, it was in this position that Viktor Lasnichka resigned the game, as now there really isn't anything to do. Because here, you, you're out of moves, next move b8, queen will be mate, so you can only play uh, rook to b6, but now b8, queen comes with check, and after you capture it, just queen captures, here you capture the pawn, and uh, well, you are up a queen and the pawn, and the rook. So yeah, uh, really, really awesome stuff. Uh, after rook c8, Lasnichka resigns, and uh, uh, a very important victory for Magnus Carlsen, uh, not only because it's with his London system, but be because he uh, really uh, he almost closes the, ca the gap between him, him and the leaders. He's now on six points, uh, whereas uh, Van Gaal and Mamedyarov, who drew their game, are on six and a half. So uh, it's going to be going to be exciting, but still a lot of rounds to go. Uh, so yeah. Once again, uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Liana and Mark Siga, uh, Alessio Pataka, uh, Simon Cervilla, uh, Gilles Schwerza, and uh, Julian Josepzade for a contribution to my channel. Uh, thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. You already know that we are continuing the coverage of the FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championship. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.